early on when he first started Kogi, he would go to a lot of musicians' shows and he just pull up backstage and he just have like a jacket full of burritos and just feed us. Yeah, probably like eight to ten burritos with me. I had them all over. And then when the bouncer stopped me, I give him one. And then, and then, and then they'd be like, oh, shit. It was a custom jacket he built <laughs> just for burritos. Yeah, just for burritos. <laughs> okay. burrito jacket. But you, was, you know, that's what DJs do with our mixtapes, right? I would go out and I'd have all my mixtapes stashed. Mm -hmm, and after mm -hmm. a while, people were like, yo, that was a dope mix. For me, I didn't have a craft where I could go next to him and show them like right. my scratching skill or my MC skill. So I was nervous and like the burrito was like, <laughs> the ice breaker. was like by 16, you know, <laughs> like, here, yeah, try, yeah, try this. And then, I, I will admit though, I do feel like a burrito is going to make a longer impact than a 16. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who should I be friends with? The guy who gave me that delicious burrito. <laughs> guy who's been spitting in my ear. That's why I'm still here.